Hey everybody, it's Mike from Here the Watchman. And you know what? Today I'm really excited because I have with me Mr. Jamie Walden, who is just a wonderful, wonderful Christian man. He's spreading the word, but he's doing something with us the first weekend in September that's off the hook crazy great. He will be at Here the Watchman in November out in Orange County, California, where he's going to talk about preparing. Uh, Jamie, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's good to be with you again, brother. We always have a good time fellowshipping. Well, so talk to us about the camp. Let's let's talk yeah, about well, the camp and like why people should get off their couch and get out there and spend some time with us. Absolutely. No, I'm excited about it. I mean, the Lord really gave me this, the impetus for to put together this warrior summit and retreat is what we're called warrior summit and retreat. And, and the Lord gave me the impetus for it after, um, last year's true legends. Probably a lot of people don't know, but I work behind the scenes a lot of times on that with, with Steve Quayle and, and everybody who needs help and Darren Geisinger running the behind the scenes stuff. And, and, um, you know, usually I have a table set up there and get to interact with a lot of people. And, and I, and I just kept realizing after about, three years of doing these conferences that people were just longing to be able to connect longer, to actually fellowship. It, it wasn't so much about the information, which is awesome, but they, they just want so much. They're hungry and thirsty for what I would call rich esprit de corps. Esprit de corps is like that brotherly love that's spoken to all throughout scripture. And I mean, we have some of our best friends are people who we met at the first three legends three years ago. We, we drive across the country a couple times a year to see each other. That's how unique the connectivity is. And so I, after that experience, I kept saying, Lord, how do you, oh, oh, what, how do we connect people? How do we connect people, Lord? How, we need to be fellowshipping with one another and strengthening and equipping and sharpening each other for real. And, and, uh, and basically in prayer on my way home from Branson, about a six hour drive, the Lord said, well, then why don't you do that? And I was like, oh yeah, right. Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I don't have a penny to my name and I don't have a name and how in the world do you do that? No, any. So anyways, that's how all this um, came to be. And really the Lord actually led me to a couple of scriptures that only reinforced it. Um, one of them is in Jeremiah 13 and it says, uh, give glory to the Lord, your God, before he brings darkness, before your feet stumble on darkening hills, you hope for light, but it will only be for darkness. And he talks about how, the people drawing together before the day of the Lord and giving glory to him together as a people, unified as a people. And then also uh, in Zephaniah 2, it says, gather together, gather together, O shameful nation, which we are a shameful nation, before the appointed times arise and that day sweeps on like chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's wrath comes upon you. Seek the Lord, all you humble the land, you who do what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. And I thought, Lord, we need to be gathering together. We need to be worshiping together. We need to be having fun together. And and our, our faces need to be radiant, right? Those who hope in the Lord, their faces are radiant. And and I know, having been in the Marine Corps, law enforcement, fire EMS, I know the dynamism that's created in shared experience. Shared experience solidifies and reinforces a, a level of friendship or fellowship and depth that it might take you 10 years to develop otherwise. A shared experience like takes you deep quick. And so um, that that's why the Lord really burdened me to, to, to go all in and step out and put together this, this warrior summit and retreat. And what it's going to be centered on is a weekend of, of intentionality of fellowship and um, connectivity through through fun and adventure and leisure activities. Well, uh, you know, Jamie, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, look, folks, I can tell you right now, Jamie spoke at one of our conferences in Dallas. It was the last conference, in-person conference that was held this year uh, in March, the first part of March. Uh, and Jamie spoke there. He is truly a man of God. And what's exciting is look at him when he's talking about this, when he's reading the scriptures, he's smiling, okay? Yeah. Because Christians can be I happy. Smile. You don't have to be, you don't have to be sad and negative all the time. God's got this. Now, Jamie, this is a departure for us from here, the Watchman, because we, 
first of all, won't do a video conference. Uh, God bless everybody that does them. You know, I mean, it's, it's wonderful that it's out there, but that's not Hear the Watchman. Hear the Watchman is all about people getting together and connecting with one another, just as you said. This yeah. camp is not going to be like a conference, is it? What, what, what's the agenda? No, and that's what I'm, I'm really excited about because the other thing too is having, you know, going and speaking in all these different venues and with these conferences is I realized too, like, I can't wait to go to them because I get to fellowship with my brothers and sisters who might be fellow speakers or like you and Jeannie and other people and we, we get together in fellowship, but it's always like boom, 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 right? There's so many, it's, there's a lot happening condensed amount of time it's really busy guys are preparing and re rehearsing the things that the lord has laid on their hearts to share with the people and there's all the uh media live streaming stuff going on there's and and we we have so little time to fellowship so i actually wanted to create this as a place where where um guest speakers could facilitate fellowship as well and they themselves be refreshed so here's what the warrior summit and retreat is not it is not a conference Right. by any way shape or form listen there's going to be speakers there the only reason why i say speakers is because they're people who you're used to hearing speak they're not going to be there speaking they're going to be there to have exclusive chilled out awesome fellowship with those who want to come and connect with them that's am, am i frozen yeah and, and and that jamie that that is is so important right now i mean people across the country have been locked down uh we're not going to get into the debate about the virus and all that stuff but it's time to get out it's time to come meet your brothers and sisters in person and right. you know Jeannie and i will be there but i'm not going to be lecturing to anyone i'm just there to facilitate and and to have a good time and to talk with yep. one another and to share the scripture and to share the love of jesus you know. That is it. And so what's very unique about this warrior, the warrior summit and retreat is that there is, I, I hate to use the word exclusive because it sounds grody, but for lack of a better word is it's, it's, it's an intentional intimacy with one another. So it'll be like, uh, you and Jeannie, myself, you know, Tim Alberino is going to be there. Uh, coach Dave Dobbenmeyer, uh, Dr. Mike Spalding, which I just got off the phone with him and, and we have a great time. Uh, Robert Griswold will be there. Uh, Derek and Sharon Gilbert will be there, as well as David Paxton. And again, many other people are coming to gather. And each one of the, and all of our wives or husbands, our spouses, uh, we're bringing our children. A lot of other people are bringing their, their children. Because listen, it's about gathering together to seek the Lord's face while it may be found together. And we can only do that and it reaches free to core. We must be like those after after the ascension of Jesus Christ who are waiting in Jerusalem for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We need a double portion of the Lord's Spirit in this generation. So let's be found gathering together and enjoying one another. And that, you know what? You know where I find the most awesome conversations is when there's no agenda? Yeah. When you're just sharing a meal or when you're hanging out by a fire or when you're sitting on the dock down there fishing, which is what we'll be doing and stuff like that. Like, and people go, Hey, what do you think about this? Or what do you think? Or, you know what? I've really been struggling with this my whole life and I don't know how to get freedom from it. And then somebody gets moved by the Lord to invest in them or they connect with each other and, and, and their life experiences and their refinement and sanctification of the Lord. That's what this summit is all about. People is the body of Christ actually being the body of Christ. And I know how emaciated most of us are for the body right now in this generation. And, and how refreshing is that, folks? I mean, you know, when, when I started Hear the Watchman, my whole intention with Hear the Watchman was to gather his people. That's the message that I got, gather my people. And so we've done this now for a, a bit of time, and there's nothing like when you come to an event and you gather together, it's it's not so much about what I have to say or what Jamie has to say or what Tim Alberino has to say. That stuff's all interesting. But what's really, really powerful is when you're just sitting down having a Coke with us and we're just talking. I mean, we're just hanging out, you know. That's where God really works. Now, Jamie, 
you've got some interesting events. I mean, people can come to this camp and just hang out. They can go fishing. They can go swimming. But they can also go paintballing. I, I, I yeah. think you have yeah. like a, is, isn't there like a prop that you have there that you can show us? There is a prop. I'll, I'll get to that. So let me, <laughs> let me give everybody a breakdown of the camp. So here's what it looks like. Okay. I, I actually went to High Hill, Missouri, which is just outside of St. Louis. I drove down there. I kind of pulled up a map and tried to pick where, where can the most people most conveniently get to driving, you know, because typically most of us don't have a lot of expendable income to fly. So, you know, I literally looked on a map and St. Louis is as central in the U.S. as you can get. And I started searching for Christian camps. I found one right outside of St. Louis. So if, even if you fly in, it's easy to get to. It's literally a mile off the exit off of I-70 interstate that runs across, you know, central U.S. down there. Found that ideal camp, this awesome Christian camp. It's called High Hill Christian Camp in High Hill, Missouri. If you want to look into some of their facilities, but I also have pictures online about it. And, and I rented the entire camp. So there's multiple uh, modern log timber frame cabins. There's uh, meeting areas. It has a pond with a zip line and a blobs and swimming pool, uh, kayaks, canoeing, fishing, tomahawk throwing, spear throwing, archery, uh, nature hikes. There's places to meet and gather to fellowship or do prayer walks or prayer hikes or do whatever you want. Um, we are going to offer things for people if they want, like different uh, practical preparedness trainings or or just invest in people. It, it's whatever you want. I mean, even even David Paxson's coming down and he's gonna he's gonna share with people uh, um, uh, drone flying classes. You know, if you want to fly drones, or Robert Griswold's gonna teach about um, emergency communications for family preparedness. You know, I might give a thing on basic first aid. Just if you're interested in that, I have a buddy of mine that's gonna teach some different tactics it's like whatever you want but if if you're enjoying fellowship and hanging out by a fire or or, or, or you know filling yourself with good food then keep doing that <laughs> you know or if you want to go i want to see you do the zip line and then drop off into the pond if you want to keep doing that over and over again then do that it's all about a place to be restored and refreshed but to also be equipped but to also intentionally fellowship and grow down deep roots into one another's lives. Uh, but to cap it all off, we are going to be doing a fully uh, a combat military simulation paintball uh, uh, run. Now, as I say that, please <laughs> do not be like, oh, I can't do that. My body's shot. I'm not fit. I'm not doing It's for fun. Listen, we're going to make sure that whoever wants to partake in it can partake. It's not super intense. Like I'm not going to be like running and gunning and trying to mow people. It's about creating that shared bonding experience. And again, there's nothing that I've seen that creates shared bonding and deep uh, uh, relationship than an experience like that where you, maybe you'll sweat a little bit. Maybe you'll get a little bit dirty or a little bit sweaty. Maybe you get shot and you get to shoot, but it'll be fun and you'll be laughing and joking about it, you know, the whole rest of the time. So. I actually, <coughs> excuse me, have gone so far as to, I have a guy who's a, a professional pyrotechnician, and I already talked to the camp, and he's going to rig up the whole outdoor paintball course with pyrotechnics. So literally, <laughs> it will be bombs going off, smoke and Ooh. machine gun fire and things like that going overhead to create the most realistic combat experience that you could possibly get to, to practically train you and equip you but also to have a lot of fun and more importantly to grow down roots into fellowship with one another. I have a, one of the paintball guns here, like literally everything. You know, so these, are, these are the paintball guns. And, and we'll just have a blast. We'll have a blast shooting and, and laughing and joking and getting shot and, uh, and giggling about it all night long around the campfire. And the thing is, Jamie, you don't have to be a Marine like you were. To, to enjoy this. You can go out there, folks, and just have fun with all of us. I mean, it's it's not Afghanistan, okay? Right. It's it's fun. It's time to bond. Men and women are welcome yep. to join in. It, it, it's a it's an opportunity for and, you and to... Listen, and if you don't want to, if you don't, that's fine. Then you get to sit and watch everybody else get shot. Exactly. But, I mean... That, but listen, they... like I went so far as to... I, I, I had, I've gone... I've had to drive down there. It's a long ways from where I live, this camp. But it was... The, it met all of our needs. And 
I met with them and said, hey, can I bring in some side-by-sides for uh, golf carts? They're like, absolutely. So listen, we're going to facilitate anybody, everybody in any way they can. We just want you to be there. And And have fun. I mean, and have fun. fun. I mean, look, so, so many times, Jamie, as Christians, we get together and everything's hardcore serious. I mean, it's aliens. It's it's the you know it's either the pre or post trip. It's it's heavy stuff. But at this camp, you can talk about that heavy stuff with one another. But you can have fun. You yeah. know what's the point of being a hardcore Christian like I am if you can't have fun? I mean, yeah. I want to have fun. And well, and, and what's great too is 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 there are going to be people like like. Uh, like your wife, you know, and, and others that are going to be facilitating breakout sessions. So yeah. if women want to go gather together and spend some time, like intentionally seeking the Lord together or in prayer, there's going to be, you know, if you want to go break off with some women and share in fellowship, men, if you want to break off and go uh, learn some, some patrol tactics or basic, basic combat tactics for, because you think it'll be beneficial and fun, then go ahead and do that. So, that's what it's going to be centered on. So let me talk a little bit more about what it looks like logistically or how the camp looks. So I was saying the camp has multiple different timber frame cabins. This is family camp style. So so I want I want the listeners to know and understand that, which I specifically did on purpose, which means they're beautiful, nice uh, log timber frame structures. This is not you're not roughing it. They have two bathrooms in each one and, and, and plenty of room for privacy. But they are bunk style because it's a cabin. They're, they're cabins. So there are rows of twin twin bunk beds, you know, twin mattress bunk beds, but it's all air conditioned. They all have dual bathrooms in them. They're really nice. Uh, there's major commons areas like these these really nice contemporary design houses, structures where everybody can gather. And, and one of the best things is about this camp are the meals. The camp actually cooks and provides and serves and cleans up all the meals and there and it is buffet style like golden corral kind of style where you'll have plenty to eat and that was my biggest concern was food lord how do i feed all these people how do i feed and it's like (laughs) this camp said no we do it all that's the part of running the camp and so so three three meals a day and we'll be providing the snacks in between we'll gather together cafeteria style and eat there's always fellowship around meals and then the whole thing is with the cabin style is that even that's a shared experience that's unique. So get off of your idea of individuality and comfort and enjoy the coolness of being able to get connected with people in that way. Don't worry, I'll have earplugs in every cabin and some melatonin or whatever in case you get one of one of those guys. But, uh, anyways, it's a very, very unique place. And if I didn't say, too, they have a huge pool there so you can swim in the pond, you can swim in the pool, you can kayak canoe fish you can paintball you can zip line you can hang out around the thing they have billiards they have everything and it will be just unbelievably great and again that we have such great guest facilitators that are going to be there themselves to be restored and fresh and to do what they love to do most which is to fellowship with the body of christ amen so, jamie amen and, and, and that's why it's going to be totally different than what we're used to and I'm, I'm absolutely praying that the Lord would draw the right people who know and understand what this is really all about. Keep all the weirdos out. <laughs> Sorry if you're a weirdo. <laughs> and draw people who have a hunger and thirst to be the body, to the body, unto the body, to the glory of the Lord, to be refreshed and refitted and rearmed for the battle that lies ahead. And you know, look, folks, you've been stuck at home. You've been isolated. Now, you come to something like this. It's not like watching us on the computer like you're doing right now. It's live, in person, handshake to handshake, hug to hug. We are the body of Christ, and we come together. And when we come together, it is powerful. I mean, I, I, yes. I'm telling you, it is very, very, very powerful. You know, so, Jamie, how do people sign up for this? Where do they go? Yeah, you can, if you go to omegadynamics.org, it'll take you right to the lead page. I, I literally try to put in about, to make sure and build out the webpage with every question that I could foresee being asked. 
So it's very detailed. You can see the facilities, you can see the layout, you can see the list of speakers there, um, um, what, what to expect and what'll be there. You see a little packing list on what to bring there. Um, obviously the prices, there's a package for individual or couples or families, depending on the amount of kids that you have with you, uh, uh, and a breakdown of everything that we can see going on. Um, remember, I, I mentioned to you that this is like, like a, a, a cool camp, right? It's a fun, cool camp. So, so in light of that, I, I've gotten some things for, for every person who attends the camp is going to get some neat take home things just cause it should be a memorable experience. You know, you're going to get like a, a, a nice double walled stainless steel tumbler like this that'll have some logos on it. But also, um, uh, everybody who registers will, will get a fun hat, hat to wear at camp, you know, and they're, they're kind of personalized with the logo and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. But right now, um, because originally this had been just for men, but because the coronavirus thing broke out, I said, man, we need to gather as a body. Every It's an all skate. So originally I had all this cool tactical, <laughs> tactical gear for guys uh, uh, that we're gonna attend. But what, but what I'm gonna do now, because I have all that sitting in here in house is basically the first 70 um, registrations that I receive, they're gonna get that gear instead. So let, let me show you that real quick. Uh, um, the, this is just, just for re the first 70 people that register, they'll get this full size, you can see a, a, a brand new tactical backpack. And of course I got to put it cool. I'll make it anyway. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get this along with a hat and, and the double wall mug and everything as well too. But then you also get your own, uh, tactical tomahawk. Do Throw not give one. that to my wife. Which which literally everybody needs for a bug out bag or in their vehicle or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. They, they're personalized too for the camp. I don't know if it's zooming in or not, but they, they have it. So, so the first 70 people that do register, they'll get the bag with the patch and the tomahawk and the hat and the tumbler as well too. And, uh, and that's just something that, that just to, to bless people. And you know what, at the end of the day, it's cause I really like that stuff. So sorry. <laughs> I like, I choose the things that I really think are cool and I think they're kind of fun. So whatever. Um, so that's the first 70 registrations that I received. So if you register as a couple, you'll get one packet. Right. Like that. Right. Um, and again, this is the, the warrior summit and retreat. And obviously we partnered with you guys here to watch them. You guys are helping facilitate a lot having to do with this, which is a huge blessing. It's, uh, myself and coach Dave and, and, uh, Dr. Mike Spalding, Dr. Michael Lake. I love that brother so much. Uh, um, uh, Derek and Sharon Gilbert, Tim Alberino, Robert Griswold, yourself, and, and Jeannie, as well as David Paxson, just to name a few. Just so it's just gr a great time of fellowship to really glean from all these awesome men. And I'm sorry, I, I when when I gave the first rundown, I forgot to mention Dr. Michael Lake. <laughs> sorry, I love you, brother. I love you. My brain works too fast, man. I, I, I am feel so honored to be under so many of these men's leadership and teaching uh it's such an honor um so so that's who's going to be there helping facilitate it it is september uh 4th through the 7th because of coronavirus the camp gave us a whole extra night and a, and the meals that go with it for free to tack onto it so you don't have to stay the whole time come and go as you need to depending on what your schedule dictates so it's September 4th through the 7th. So that's Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Why? Because Monday is Labor Day. So you have a three-day weekend already. That's I designed it that way. You already have a three-day weekend. <laughs> Come to the camp and fellowship. But if you have to leave early, leave early because that third night was free and, and, and the, the camp uh, blessed us with that. And all the meals are included. All your lodging is included. Your, your, your uh, cool take-home things are included with that. All the speakers and everything are taken care of. Literally come as you are. It is all inclusive. All the gear will be there, all the fishing gear, all the tackle, all the whatever. Um, there's just some small basic things that I suggest that you bring that are on a packing list. And this is a camp for the redeemed of the Lord, for the body to be the body. Well, you know, God bless you, Jamie. I mean, folks, <clears throat> excuse me, you need to understand, Jeannie and I, we're going to do a Hear the Watchman in Boise, Idaho on this same weekend. And we canceled that so, so that we could knock my glasses off the table, so that, we could, so that we could 
team up with Jamie because we feel that it's so vitally important for us to all get together, not in a big hotel, just out in nature, out with one another, where we can talk and share and, and just be blessed. I mean, that's the bottom line. This camp will be a blessing for you. So get busy. Go on to Jamie's website. Again, Jamie, what's the site? You go to omegadynamics.org. That's omegadynamics.org. And we've already had um, um, quite a few people register. Uh, we're we're going to have to camp, cap, cap the, the camp off at around 200 people. So I would highly suggest no matter – don't let the fear of what's going on and the uncertainty of the coronavirus stuff go on. Listen, the Lord's – where, where there's a will, there's a way, and we do have contingency, by the way. We're working on contingency. If for some reason the government really, really locks us down in September, but everything's loosening up, don't let fear keep you from registering. Register now because we're, we're trying to keep it small and intimate on purpose. Why? So that it's intimate, to facilitate fellowship. It's it's strategically designed to be – to to foster that intimacy, to foster intentional conversations over the course of two or three days, however long you choose to be with us. Uh, so register soon and get in there because we an we do anticipate it being filled up pretty quick. And uh, and so we, we really look forward to the Lord drawing those who he's foreknown to come and, and share in this experience. And I know I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's a big toll for me. Like I say, it's all, it's, it's new ground for me, but I want to be obedient to the Lord in it. And, I, and I'm and i really anticipating the, the Lord doing something cool in this time. Well, Jamie, I mean, we're, we're, um, we're honored to be a part of it. And folks, I want you to go on to Jamie's website, get registered today, get set up, come on out there, enjoy the love of Jesus with the remnant body. Enjoy it. Come out and share with one another. Pray with one another. Have fun. It's it's going to be a great event. Jamie, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. And I also want to thank you for having the inspiration to do this camp because it's a blessing to all of us. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I, and I know that, that he'll... He will always make a way for his people, uh, you know, whatever that looks like. And, and especially those with ears to hear, you know, and those who are seeking to grow in a knowing of him. Because we have been foretold, and it's such a good word, that those who, who press on to know the Lord, who seek to grow in a knowing of the Lord, and who do have a knowing of the Lord, that they will be strong in him and by him, and they will do exploits through him and unto him, to his glory and to our joy. So that's what we look forward to being a part of. Amen. And folks, don't let the COVID thing keep you away. Just come on out there. Be a part of it. Pick a finger to put up at the uh, COVID virus thing here. You want to come out and be a part of this in person so that you can feel the love of Jesus throughout all the remnant body. So, Jamie, thanks again. We'll see you all next time here on the Watchman's Report. And I hope to see you first weekend in September at Jamie Walden's camp. Talk to you again soon.